All right, I'm uh, I'm genuinely surprised after this chapter. I've I've said in the last couple that I wasn't sure what the author's plan, like what what exactly the manga was doing with uh, Ano Un, but that guy, I because I, I was thinking, well, well how's he gonna balance this character being in the main cast? Because it definitely got like a really good power. Like he was drawing Andy's arm and being able to put it on himself and give himself Andy's abilities, but. I, I did not expect at all that he was going to kill him off in this chapter. Like, I, I didn't have any belief going into this character that he was going to die so soon. That legitimately just completely threw me, like, off guard, 100%. I, uh, the stuff else, otherwise, that's going on, like stuff with Rip, like, I assume Rip wasn't going to be as, uh, as evil, given what we got from him last chapter. Like, he's more, it's more of just... He's got his own side to things. He's got his own things kind of like all all set up. Like now that we know that he, I think it was, was it Lotla's sister that he ended up killing by mistake or he was involved with uh, the death of, so he kind of blames himself. Like stuff like that. Like I figured he he's not going to be evil, but he's just like, I have my reason for being on the side and it's like his strong convictions and stuff. But like as the chapter was going, we see a little bit more of Andy's, new uh, powers he calls it like repair boost bloody enchant so he's adding blood onto his abilities which i thought was pretty cool and was it the deep crimson crescent moon it's just like an elongated blood sword i thought that was badass we get a little bit of damage to um to the autumn uma but it does end up repace as uh repairing himself so it is healing and that alone is like okay this is already going to be a bit of a problem because it's not going to be one of those things where it's hard to damage and we just have to keep going until it's down. It's like, no, you're going to have to do some big damage in the time span of keeping it from healing itself. So Andy's going to have to bust out probably some new super move. I'm guessing this is where we see like a big Andy Trump card. I don't think it's going to go to Victor, though, because just because we th this should be an Andy scene and not a Victor scene, given the Baxter we just got. But Otto Un comes out, he's like, oh, he's going to draw the strongest artifact he knows, which... I'm curious to know what other ways you would use this artifact because he like while other characters are just fighting and you know doing their thing you just see a moment where he ends up drawing he ends up drawing a, another version of himself this is the one that we see and not the long-haired one and it ends up going to uh it ends up going and building the the artifact which is like this time time orb thing and I can't remember exactly what they call it I think they just say it's like the the time time aging artifact or yeah time control artifact like it was a super basic name nothing too crazy and he ends up shooting rip with it rip uh, ends up aging I think they said like 10 15 years or something yeah 15 years but in the process like if you use that you end up aging 10 times the amount so why didn't he just have Andy do it because Andy Andy wouldn't age but maybe it wouldn't work on Andy just because of that Either way, like the, I, I think that he wanted an out at the same time. He kind of was, was fine with dying. I was like, when you see the flashback and he goes to see his mom, he finally figures out like, oh, if he makes a pseudo version of himself, then he can go and see what his mom's doing. But it looks like she died and that was really sad. Like at least she's either dying or dead because... Oh, no, because you can see the cloth over her face now that I looked at the, uh, the chapter. I was like, oh, maybe she's, like, a comatose. I'm like, you see the cloth that's put over her face so she's dead. Uh, really sad there. I, I wish he thought of that before because that was one of the things in his backstory that really bummed me out was the stuff with his mom because it, it, it's one of those different aspects to a character backstory versus, like, a character died and, you know, you have to get over it versus, well, you know, it's a struggle for them to get over and anything like along those lines where you know painful backstory x that's that they aren't sure exactly how they're going to overcome essentially the the emotional trauma i think is the better way to put it versus something like this where his mom was still alive for years and she didn't know what happened to him and that that to me is the bigger sadness of it because that means she died not knowing what happened to her son he just disappeared one day and she never saw him again I, that to me is like the bigger sadness and it's like he was alive but he just didn't know how to go see her because of his uh his ability so i i am perfectly fine with this character getting killed off 
not from like the standpoint of like I didn't like his character. Like I thought Ano Ono was pretty cool, uh, just from the amount that we saw. But on top of that, he probably would be really difficult to ride around because he knows the future and stuff. So him getting aged and putting Rip back into like his prime self was was pretty was a pretty swift move. But I, I do think genuinely he probably wanted to die. I think he was perfectly fine with aging himself into dust. Though I'm kind of curious of like would it because we would it end up killing his main one because we see that the Ano Un that um that we see is not the real one, but I'm assuming they're connected somehow. Because he's like standing outside of the doorway and then the Ano Un that we see is like consoling like he's sad, like mourning over the de uh, his dead mom. But does like this one aging affect the main body? Are they connected? I I'm very curious about that one. I would assume so. Otherwise, it would it would really make this scene not very impactful. But I think it would make sense to kill off Ano Un's character and work towards like the rest of what's going on. Because like I said, it would probably be really difficult to work around him. Plus, I think it's a really nice moment to end his character, to have him and like give assistance to the main, not just the main cast, but even to Rip. Like even says he calls them his his cool cast of heroes. I thought that was really nice, and it it just gives like a really nice scene for him, you know, getting his departure from everything's going on. So we're probably gonna be getting a lot. I assume we're getting an uh an Auto Uma ah Autumn Uma focused fight in the next chapter or two i i personally want to see what the other characters are doing in their fights but obviously this, this is a this is way more focused on on knowing andy and stuff so it makes sense of why we have more of this versus like seeing the other seasonal umas but i i really want to see the other ones i think the other ones are really cool probably i think it's spring i think it was spring was the one that i really liked the weird little eye stalk that came out of the the chestnut or whatever it looked really spooky um but other than that, I, I did genuinely think this was a really good chapter. I thought this was a really solid way for this guy's character to go out and just doing whatever he could to assist the rest of the cast. Because he was missing arms, but I was like, he could just draw his own arm. Maybe he's going to draw his arms with his mouth and then, you know, fix himself back up so he could actually draw normally again. But I don't know. I, I, I'm very curious to know what exactly the plan is with this guy moving forward. Like, is he dead dead? Or, like I said, is the main body still alive and this one is dust? So, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if I missed something on that, like they merged or, or whatever, whatever. But, even seeing the panel after he drew it and he's like going to his mom, you see one, the, the original version standing outside the doorway and then the little, like, white haired one in the hospital room. So,. I, I'm not 100% sure. Like, that that's the one thing that I'm not sure of when it comes to this guy's character at all. Is, is the real one alive or did it die too? But I liked what he did with Rip. I thought it was interesting because I thought Rip was going to stay young for a while. And it would just be like, every time we see him, he's slightly older. But here we have him back up to his prime. So I assume that they're going to, the, you know, combine their powers to defeat the Autumn Uma. But give Andy the winning blow. Because Andy's the one that can show that he can damage it. But we know that Rip, if he damages it, it shouldn't be able to heal itself. So what they're going to have to do combined is going to be really interesting. They're, I feel like they're going to have to work together. Because otherwise, Andy's either going to have to do some attack that's so big it can't regenerate. Or they're going to have to do combo attacks so we know that it can't heal from unrepair. But anyway, other than that though, uh, comment below. Tell me your thoughts are about this chapter. and Tell me your thoughts about coming up. It, it, do you think that Ano Un is fully dead or if it's just this version of him? Because I, I feel like he's fully dead. And then I have to go back and look because there's an orb there when he died. And I'm curious to know what the orb is about. Like I said, there, there, there's stuff that I could easily miss. But I, as far as I know, the, you know, these, the, the orb wasn't a big thing. If, if I'm wrong on that, you can just correct me. In the comments, but like I said, other than that, though, comment below, thumbs up, from the like button, subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But other than that, I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed. Thank you all for listening. Bye.